students welcome to school quiz my name is tejashwini uh, and we are discussing about topic of class 8 mathematics comparing quantities and in the previous video i have explained you about ratios and in today's video i am going to explain you about percentages so what is a percentage what are the different methods of percentages i am going to explain you in the today's class so first about percentage so here i think you are very familiar with the word percentage because you uh, when you students will get your percentages exam marks percentages so you are very familiar with all of your percentages so and you know always the percentage value is 100 and it is denoted with the symbol this is the symbol and the value of percentage is 100 for example so let me explain about percentages in an example so in a class i am saying that 40% are girls and 60% are boys so in a class i can say 40% are girls and 60% are boys it means there are less girls and more boys so out of total in the total 40% of the students are girls and 60% of the students are boys so percentage determines the exact value of anything so you uh, you can using this you can find number of girls and number of boys also so per, this is symbol of percentage and we call it 40% 60% okay now let me explain some examples before that let me explain how to convert more about uh, we will discuss more about percentages now so first let me explain how to convert ratio into percentage now i am taking a ratio 4 is to 5 here 4 is to 5 is a ratio so 4 is to 5 can also be written as 4 by 5 now i want to find percentage of 4 by 5 so to find the percentage of a number we have to give, divide multiply the number with 100 okay 100% so 5 one times 5 two times 10 and 0 times is 0 that is 4 into 20% that is equals to 80% so in this way a ratio can be converted into percentage so this we got exact percent for example i am taking 2 is to 3 how can we convert 2 is to 3 can be written as 2 by 3 as we are finding the percentage into 100 yes uh so here we when we want to cancel this can be done in two ways so as we don't find any cancellations we can multiply 2 into 100 is 200 by 3 now you can divide and check 200 with 3 3 6 times 18 again 2 and 0 3 6 times 18 again 2 yes so we got we can say that we know that uh, mixed form q r by denominator so q is 66 the remainder is 2 and the denominator is 3 so 66 2 by 3 percent so in this way we can find its percentage so when the, when there is a remainder left over we have to write in the form of quotient remainder by denominator the denominator value is given here we have already learned about denominator in fractions so uh, the denominator value is 3 so when we are dividing We got the quotient as sixty six and the remainder as two, so sixty six two by three quotient remainder by denominator percentage. So in this way, we can convert a ratio into percentage. So let me explain few more problems on percentage. so now let me explain you in a class there are 25 students a class has total 25 students that is girls and boys are 25 and in that i'm saying 72% of of them are are girls now let us find how many boys are there we want boys 
How many boys are there? And also we want percentage of boys. So did you understand the question what I said? In a class there are 25 students. Out of 25 students, 72% of them are girls. Only 72% of them are girls. And we have to find how many boys are there and the percentage of the boys also. So let me explain. So now let us find how to find number of girls. To find number of girls, just we have to take the 72% and we have to multiply the total. That is 72 by 100 into 25. Okay, so here we can find some easy cancellations. 25, 1 is 25. Or you can also take 5 table. Let me explain 5, 5 times. 5, 2 times and 5, 0 times. 5, 1 time. 5, 4 time. Or also you can take with uh, directly 25, 1 time is 25. 25, 4 time is 100. That is 72 into 1 by 4. That is equals to 72 by 4. Here also if we divide and check 4, 1 time. 4, 1 time is 4. 32, 4, 8 times is 32. So, out of 25, 18 are girls. Okay, 18 are girls. And now let us find how many boys are there. To find number of boys, we, we subtract total, total number of students minus girls. Total number of students are 25 minus the girls, we got 18. So, 25 minus 18 is 7. Okay. So, there, so in a class there are 18 girls and 7 boys. So now let us find a percentage of boys. So to find percentage of boys, 7 by, so now we are finding percentage of boys, boys by total into 100. Okay, so now 25 1 times 25 same cancellations, 25 4 times, that is 7 into 4 by 1. That is equals to 28%. So here we found the percentage of boys. Here we found number of boys. And here we got number of girls. So when a problem is given in this way. So we can easily find with the percentages given. We can find the number we require. Number of other things we require. And we can find the percentage of the other things also. Hope you understand this example. Let me explain with one more example. Example of percentages. I am saying uh, a team, team A is going to play a match. Is going to play a match. So it had it was in a tournament. So we don't know how many total matches are there. But in that they have won only ten matches. And their winning percentage is forty. The winning percentage is 40. So now let us find total number of matches they have played. Okay. And then we have winning percentage. So we will find total number of matches they have played. So now here let total number of matches be x. Because we don't know how many matches are there. So winning percent into total number of matches is equals to number of matches they won. So 40% you can rest 40 by 100 into x is equals to 10. Now we want to find the value of x. So to find the value of x I am sending this number to the other side of the is equal to. So whenever I am sending a fraction to the other side it gets its reciprocal form. So here reciprocal. So let me explain what is reciprocal. Reciprocal of 40 by 100 is just reciprocal is nothing but interchanging. Up number come down and the down number goes up. That is known as reciprocal. Exchanging their places. Numerator becomes denominator. Denominator becomes numerator. So it is 100 by 4. That is x is equals to 10 into 100 by 4. Okay. Now. 40 
0, 0 get cancelled. So we get 10 into 10 by 4. That is equals to 100 by 4. So now we will if we divide and check 4, 1 times 4, 4, 2 times 8 and 4, 5 times 20. So that is 25. So total 25 matches. The team has won 10 matches. Okay. So out of 25, the team has won 10 matches. Using this total, we can find how many ma ma matches the team did not win. Just by subtracting 20 total matches minus the one, then we get number of matches they did not win. Okay. So these are the few examples about percentages. And I hope you have understood about percentages. And in next class, I am going to explain how to increase and decrease of percentages. How can we solve different problems of increase and decrease of percentages. So you, you can, you students can try different examples on this problem. And I think, hope you have understood my topic today and thank you so much.